Welcome. Are you one that wants to crack your back or are you the person that is cracking their back? Now you're probably looking at this video because you're curious how I can help you. I want to give you some very important information about your back. I am a chiropractic physician and I've had the opportunity to see thousands of spines over the course of many, many years. And I can tell you that I have seen some serious problems for those who have cracked their own back. When you look at the lower back, you look at the sacroiliac, the right and left sacroiliac. The pelvic moves back and forth like this when you walk. You have the hips that attach on both sides of the pelvis. If one pelvic sits up higher or lower, it will throw your leg length off. But the most important thing I want you to understand is that inside the casing of this bone, of these bones in here, particularly in the lower back or in the mid back, you have what they call spinal nerves. These yellow nerves control and regulate all different parts of your body. They control the muscles between the ribs called the intercostal muscles. The nerves in the lower back affect down into the leg called the sciatic nerve. They affect the organs, the kidneys, urinary tract system. They affect the heart up in here, the lungs, the stomach, the gallbladder, the spleen. They affect everything that's going on within your body. Although the most important thing that I want you to understand is that when you put a force into the spine or when you're overstretching a joint, realize that a joint is composed of synovial fluid. Within that joint, you have a capsule. In that capsule, you have gases, primarily nitrogen and carbon dioxide. These gases form a bubble in there. When there's pressure of pulling apart or any type of distraction, those gases become released. You hear a popping sound and boom, you think that the bone has moved. Not necessarily, but if it did, it can move in the wrong position. So I want you to understand that if you're taking a joint and you're mobilizing the joint and you're overstretching the joint, let's look at that joint as this particular band of ligament that's holding it together. So if you overstretch it, what happens? You continue to stretch the rubber band. Now, when muscles contract, it gives your brain the understanding, hey, the muscles are contracting. I want to stretch the muscle. I want to pull the muscle. By doing it, you're stimulating the area, getting more nerve supply temporarily. You're stimulating the brain to send messages to that area and you get relief. But you notice that the more that you stretch something, the more often you have to stretch it, not only because of the habit, but it becomes a problem where the joint is being stretched. So, I want you to look at the rubber band. When you take the rubber band and you overstretch it, if I go this way, this way, this way, then watch, as we overstretch it, the elasticity of the rubber band, like the elasticity of the, of the tissues, is supposed to come right back to where it is. So now you continue to overstretch those ligaments. The ligaments become so overstretched that the collagen tissue made up of those structures does not come back to its original length. Therefore, you have what they call hypermobility. Hypermobility means that the joint is moving too much. Well, hypermobility is like when you sprain any joint. If you stretch the ligaments, the joint becomes unstable. What happens is that after that, the muscles start to compensate and compromise for that instability, leading to other potential weaknesses and problems. But the unfortunate thing about the unstable joint is when the spine is not stable, if it's the mid back or the lower back, the discs start to wear. The joints start to wear, like osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, spondylosis, herniated discs, bulging discs, disc degeneration, disc desiccation. So the question here is, should I be cracking my back? If you do something subtle, if you're stretching subtly and you're not forcing it, you're not pushing it, everything is normal. But if you start over stretching something using too much force uh, and too much load in the joint, you're gonna cause this excessive stretching of the ligament, it's not gonna go back, and you're gonna eventually have lots of potential problems, and the end result is dysfunction and pain. I hope I explained it well. I know a lot thrown out at you at one time, but this is your life, and you have a future to live that life to be healthy, not unhealthy. Leave your questions below. I hope you, hope you learned from this. I ask you to share this with your friends, and most important, subscribe if you haven't. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.